In this video, I will teach you how to farm cake in a pancake swap farm and how to mine tokens of other projects in pools of pancake swap. First, I will prepare you by explaining which wallet you need to install and which specific network coins you need to use, as well as how to get them. Next, we will go into pancake swap itself and I will explain all the aspects of token farming and show you how to do it. First of all, to farm on PancakeSwap, you need to number one, install the Trust Wallet crypto wallet on your phone. You can find the link to the detailed instructions about the Trust Wallet in the description down below. In case you have an iPhone, you also need to click on the Trust Wallet guide link in the description. This is necessary to install the Trust Wallet with a browser that allows you to log in pancake swap number two on pancake swap all exchange transactions as well as farming take place within the BEP 20 network therefore the exchange platform will only see the BEP 20 network tokens on your trust wallet wallet to check which network your tokens belong to click on it and you will see the network information in the corner there are also a few exceptions this is a BNB token the BNB within the BEP 2 network has the BNB signature while the BNB within the BEP20 network has the smart chain signature. Also, if the wallet does not have a token of the network you need, add it by clicking on this button in the upper right corner. For farming and other operations on PancakeSwap, you will need a few BNB tokens of the BEP20 network on the Trust Wallet platform. BNB tokens are named smart chain. BNB is needed for payments of all deposits and fees from farming. Each of the following actions will cost around 0.1 dollars to add the bnb tokens of the bep20 network to your trust wallet you can buy them on the binance exchange and withdraw them into the bep20 network you can top up the balance of the exchange with your own cryptocurrency as well as by purchasing it via your bank card or online wallet in the buy cryptocurrency section i will leave a link to the binance exchange in the description on top of that by using this link you can always receive a 20 percent bonus from the commission when trading excellent the foundation is laid and now we will move on to practice First, I'll tell you how it works. PancakeSwap is primarily an exchange platform where you can quickly and in a decentralized manner exchange tokens of the BEP20 network for each other. Next, what is the purpose of farming? There are two types of users on such decentralized exchanges. Those who use them for exchange purposes and those who would provide liquidity so that such users can exchange tokens stably and without and disruptions. For this, they have rewarded with a portion of profits from the exchange commission. Liquidity is added only to a certain pair, with two coins of this pair in equal amounts. For example, in this screenshot, you can see that I am adding liquidity to the BNB BUSD pair equally amounted in the dollar equivalent so that 100 BNB is $2,937. 2,937 BUSD is also $2,937. By clicking add liquidity, 100 BNB and 2,937 BUSD will be deducted from my wallet and in exchange for that, I will receive a certain number of BNB BUSD LP pool tokens on Trust Wallet. It looks like this, but instead it is not equal to zero. This token is used as a form of acknowledgement receipt that I have sent my tokens to the liquidity pool. And for me to then take my 100 BNB and 3000 BUSD back, I will need to give back these tokens BNB BUSD LP. Now, everyone who will make exchange transactions in the BNB BUSD pair on PancakeSwap will pay a commission. And part of this commission will go to me since I have invested my share in this pool. This can already be considered as a type of earnings, which can bring around 5 to 15% per annum relative to the amount that you have sent to this pool. But when we are engaged in farming, no one takes into consideration such marginal profits. The core income comes from farms. You add these liquidity tokens to the right farm and get a lot of cake coins for it. Such exchange platforms create their tokens which are essentially considered fictitious and they are distributed among the users who have added liquidity to their platform. 
So to earn these cakes, you need to stack your liquidity tokens in the farm section within the pool of the pair where you have added liquidity. Now we can see that the more volatile the coins from the pair are, the greater the annual profitability. And in the other case, the more stable the coins are, the less you can profit from them. That is why within the BUSD BNB pair, the annual income in the cake coin is only 36%, but with the BNB TWT pair, the annual rate can reach as much as 115%. In the BUSD BNB pair, we can risk because of change in the BNB exchange rate only. And in a pair of TWT BNB, the risk lies within the exchange rates of both coins. Therefore, I advise you to choose only those pairs in the farm section, where both coins which you use to farm cake are already available in your wallet as an investment. And then this farm can become your additional income. Otherwise, if you buy these coins for the sake of farming, this is a great chance that you will still suffer losses in the end because their exchange rate may sink. So be careful. In the farm section, not all the pairs are available. So first of all, select the pair you are interested in in the farm section. Second, we add liquidity to this pair and then we pour these LP tokens into the farm. That's it. For these activities, you will be awarded cake tokens. After that, as a bonus for these cakes in the pools section, as a bonus, you can farm tokens of different projects that are constantly added to the platform. The average annual profitability of them is 300%. Now let me show you how I send my TWT and BNB tokens to the liquidity pool and earn cake. I go to the browser and click here on Pancake Swap. Next, in the pool section, click add liquidity. I choose BNB and TWT and enter 0.5 BNB. The website itself shows how much TWT is needed. I will leave a little bit of BNB to pay for the fees and exchange transactions. Then I click supply. I get a notification I will receive 8.27 BNB TWT pool tokens, then click confirm. Next, I have to pay a commission of 15 cents. I further receive a notification about the successful addition of liquidity. My trust wallet wallet was debited with 8.27 LP tokens. Now I go to the farm section by clicking on the pancake swap logo and selecting farm from the menu. And now I'm looking for a farm of my liquidity pool, which is TWT BNB LP press select. Please note that the yield in cake coins for this pool is 115% per annum. This is somewhere around plus 10% per month, i.e. adding $1,000 there around $100 will be accumulated in a form of cake coins on a monthly basis. If I have already stacked my personal 1,041 LP tokens, but now I will add eight more as an example. I press plus, enter the maximum amount and click confirm. Now we can see that eight tokens have been added and cake coins are currently being credited. You can collect the received cake at any time, but I observe you to do this when there is a minimum of 10 cake since the commission for collection is 10 cents. You can exchange the collected cake for any token needed in the swap section or send it to the pools for further farming. To do this, go to the menu in the pool section. We are met by additional pools that I have already mentioned before. Choose the coin you would like to mine for your cake. I usually farm the one with the highest yield, which is currently in the VAI pool. So I send my cakes to this pool. Currently, there is a profitability of 232% per annum. For a month of workshop on pancake, I have already farmed 1,125 cake, which equates to $500. And from this $500, I also received 232% per annum in a form of VIA coin. Then I exchange the collected VIA in the swap section for the tokens I need. On the pancake swap platform, the essence of farming in the pools is the following. The longer you stay there, the greater the profit will be. At first, I was receiving just a few pennies in the pool because I had less than 100 cakes. Well, if you want to take your money from the farm, you can click unstake and withdraw all your cake and LP pool tokens. To withdraw the money that you have sent to the liquidity pool, go to the liquidity section and click bridge. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. 
leave a like if you found this video useful, subscribe to the channel and our social media platforms, and don't forget to watch other educational videos to gain more insights into the world of cryptocurrencies.